catch up, we'll be dealing with O. Henry's short story, The Cop and the Anthem. This particular short story is prescribed for the part two English students belonging to the first year of our college. O. Henry is an American short story writer whose real name is William Sidney Potter. His short stories are known for their naturalistic observations, witty narration, and surprise endings. Some of the famous short stories of O. Henry are The Last Leaf, The Gift of the Magi. Now, let us have a look at the characters and the setting of this short story. Soapy is the most important character in this short story. Alongside, the minor characters are a head waiter, a young woman, an umbrella man, few policemen and a couple of restaurant workers. Coming to the setting of this uh, short story, actually initially this uh, short story is set in a park in a place called Madison Square and later on it moves on to the New York streets. Now let us get into the plot of this short story. We have Soapy who is a homeless man who doesn't have a family or uh, uh, any kind of work with him. So this uh, homeless man Soapy finds a place in the park and he uh, usually sleeps in it or uh, takes some rest in it. But now Soapy feels restless in his seat in the park and the reason behind his restlessness is uh, the arrival of winter season. So some signs that indicate the arrival of winter are uh, migration of birds, the people's need for uh, sweaters and the dead leaves falling. So now uh, since uh, winter is arriving very soon, Sopi has to find an alternative place of stay and he comes up with a master plan of staying in the prison for three months and the name of the prison is Blackwell's Island. Now why does Sopi prefer the prison? First of all, he wants protection from the cold weather and his proud spirit would get hurt to receive any kind of help from others and he could not tolerate constant enquiries about his personal life from the people who help him. So Sopi comes up with a master plan and his plan is to do something annoying and a naughty so that he could get arrested by the police and then he'll be made to stand in front of the magistrate who will give him a judgment of imprisonment. So the first attempt that Sopi takes up is to visit an expensive cafe in Broadway and he plans to eat a few delicious items like the roasted malad duck, camembert, demi tasse and then then he plans to get caught for not paying the bill. But soon after he steps inside the restaurant, because of his worn out trousers and broken shoes, the head waiter just turns away Soapy uh, right when he steps inside the restaurant itself. So the first attempt becomes a failure. In his second attempt, Soapy notices a shop made of uh, glass windows. He plans to throw a cobblestone and actually he throws the stone itself and it crashes the windows and uh, upon hearing the loud noise people come running towards the shop and uh, the, the people are headed by a policeman. So policeman he inquires Sopi on who was the actual culprit who did this but uh, instead of uh, saying it was he who did this Sopi uh, tells the policeman that uh, why wouldn't he suspect him. So the cop is unable to believe this and but instead he says that the cop replies that uh, someone who does the crime will not remain in the same place for a very long time and so he runs after another man who is actually r rushing to catch a car. So in a way his second, second attempt becomes a failure. In attempt number three, Sopi visits an ordinary restaurant that is visited by uh, all sorts of people and he actually has a good dinner like uh, he has beef steak, flapjacks, donuts and pie and he, after having this dinner he refuses to pay the bill and he says that uh, he and the money were strangers. Uh, after hearing this the waiters they tell that uh, uh, this kind of a person does not need a cop instead they just take him and throw him out of the restaurant. 
So his third attempt also becomes a failure. In his fourth and fifth attempts, Sopi tries to misbehave with the young woman, but the young woman, she plays along with Sopi and she uh, does not uh, leave him. Finally, Sopi somehow gets rid of her. And in the fifth attempt, Sopi tries to uh, garner the attention of the cop who is standing nearby by yelling and dancing on the New York street. But the cops do not mind him because they mistake him to be a, a, a student of a Hartfold College. So in a way, his fourth and fifth attempts also become a failure. In attempt number six, Sopi takes an umbrella from a shop. So when he walks along the road with the umbrella, the umbrella man follows him and uh, asks him that it was his umbrella. Actually, when Sopi tells um, the umbrella man that uh, he could uh, call the cop if he wishes to, so after hearing the word cop, the umbrella man admits that he himself has stolen it from someone else and uh, the umbrella man gives it back to Sopi, gives the umbrella to Sopi itself. So his sixth attempt is also a failure. Now comes the most crucial moment in the short story and here we see Sopi's enlightenment. So when Sopi was uh, seriously very upset and uh, tired of uh, his, all his failed attempts, suddenly he, uh, was, he, he walks nearby an old church from which an old song, um, he could hear this old song actually. So after hearing this song, Sopi could feel some kind of a massive change inside him. The reason for this massive change uh, is a combination of Sopi's receptive state of mind and um, the anthem from the old church. So uh, standing near the old church, I mean he's really fixed to the old fence of the church and he uh, plans to think or he plans to get back to his life and he uh, thinks that there is still time to make a man of himself and there is still time to conquer the evil that has taken over him and there is also still time to uh, give birth to his old eager ambitions and to pursue them as well and finally he also thinks that there is still time to be somebody in the world he wants to attain some kind of a position in this world but uh, fate has another plan for uh, Sopi so here comes the plot twist of this uh, short story when Sopi was uh, standing by the old church, a policeman touches him and inquires on why he was standing in this place at this point of time, at this time. So Sopi gives him a casual reply by saying nothing. But the cop does not believe Sopi, so he is produced before the magistrate and the magistrate also inquires him and grants him his previous wish of three months on the island. So in this short story, we can uh, understand that one has to be very careful in what we manifest or what we wish for. We have to be very cautious in uh, desiring for something. So actually Sopi's desire was to get inside the, re in inside the prison and stay in the prison for three months. So even after he decided to change himself and become a gentleman, uh, his previous manifestation became true. So we have to be very careful in what we decide for. Thank you.